Welcome to this new episode of AI's Hit. Uh, this week, um, again, we're going to focus on one photographer from the past or present that will serve as a pretext for us to see where AI is going in terms of photography and its understanding of photographic style. So, um, like last week, I will ask ChatGPT for the information um, and I will uh, make requests to Dali and Midjourney for the illustrations. Um, so yeah, let's ask uh, directly, uh, AI, could you please tell us about the bio of this photographer? Jan Sonic is a renowned Czech photographer known for his distinctive and often provocative style of fine art photography. He was born on May 13, 1935, in Prague, Czechoslovakia, now the Czech Republic. Sonic's work is characterized by its dreamlike and surreal quality, often featuring themes of love, sexuality, and mortality. Okay, so the first two images, as usual, I asked AI for a picture of a photographer that would look like the photographer in question, and a photo in the style of that photographer. Um, and for the first parts of the presentation, on the left that will be uh, Dali, and on the left, uh, on the right that will be Midjourney. So here I don't really see the style of that photographer. Um, I don't really see it. So let's maybe the maybe the background and the picture of Midjourney, um, and maybe the colors, but yeah, not really. He frequently used elaborate staging, darkroom manipulation, and hand coloring techniques to create unique and emotionally charged images. During his early years, Sonic faced personal and artistic challenges, including growing up in the shadow of World War II and dealing with a strict communist regime in Czechoslovakia. Despite these obstacles, he found his passion for photography and began to explore his artistic vision. Here, uh, definitely, I don't see. I think Dolly's not really getting it. Um, again, I, I I do the prompts uh, according to the text from from uh, ChatGPT, um, and both here are giving me black and white photos. Um, Dolly's kind of seems completely off. It could look like Czechoslovakia. I don't know, um, but it's definitely doesn't definitely doesn't have any. St- style looking like the photographer in question. And on the right, maybe some of the details and the composition, not really sure. In the 1960s and 1970s, Sonic gained international recognition for his work, and his photographs were exhibited in various galleries and museums around the world. However, his style and subject matter were often controversial, and his photographs were sometimes censored or considered provocative. After the fall of communism in Czechoslovakia in 1989, Sonic's work gained even more exposure, and he became widely celebrated for his contribution to the art world. Here again, um, always the first parts of those presentations, I try to fine-tune my own ability to transfer what ChatGPT gave me uh, into prompt that makes sense and, and are not too directive to uh, both Dali and Midjourney. And here, I think Dali is really simply reflecting the period and and maybe the place, but not not much more. Uh, on the right, Midjourney, there's maybe something in the colors or details, but it's kind of also the style, the, the basic style of Midjourney. So it's hard to say what's from where. And I think it's more me who's trying to find a link between both. But uh, yeah. His photographs are part of numerous private and public collections worldwide. Throughout his career, Sonic received numerous awards and honors for his photography, solidifying his position as one of the most influential and celebrated Czech photographers of all time. As with many artists, Jan Sonic's work and life were not without controversy and criticism. Some critics viewed his approach to certain themes as controversial, while others celebrated his unique artistic vision and mastery of darkroom techniques. Here again, I think I was tired of Dali only giving me black and white, so I kind of forced the prompt with some uh, hand coloring um, uh, to the picture. Um, and yeah, that's what I got. Definitely not the style of the photographer. And... And on the right, 
not sure either. I don't think there's uh, really any style from the photographer, but there's maybe some idea in the composition. I'm not really sh sure, but uh, yeah. Um, and so, yeah, AI, could you please tell us a little bit more about the style of the photographer? Jan Sonic's style stands out from other photographers due to several distinctive elements that are characteristic of his work. 1. Surreal and dreamlike aesthetics. Sonic's photographs often have a dreamlike quality, blurring the lines between reality and imagination. He creates visually stunning and emotionally charged scenes that draw the viewer into a world filled with symbolism and poetic ambiguity. So this week I'm really disappointed in Dolly. I think Dolly's completely off. I'm the one who's forcing the color to it. I've done lots of examples. This is a selection. Um, and I don't really ever see anything coming out from Dolly that looks like the style of a photographer. On the other hand, Midjourney, here's a, this picture, this scene is not that close to the photographer, to Jan Sodek's style, but there might be a few stigmatas. Um, the way it's composed, the light, the colors... Uh, maybe the character with the three feet is kind of disturbing, but otherwise, yeah, <laughs> maybe some some ideas coming from Sodex's style. Two emotional and provocative themes. Sodex's photography explores complex and often controversial themes such as love, sexuality, mortality, and the human condition. His images are rich in emotion portraying raw and intimate moments that evoke strong feelings and connections with the subjects. Here again, Dali, I think, is completely off. Um, I'm forcing uh, the parameters a hand-colored photograph to Dali to make it look more entertaining and closer to uh, to what Sadek would do. Otherwise, I always get black and white systematically, so it definitely doesn't have that in his training. Uh, Midjourney, on the other hand, kind of brings me some of the vibes of Sodek. Not really, it's a little bit too clean, but the lights, the, the kind of studio setting, which is not something I've asked in the, in the prompt, um, kind of could look like uh, his work. Three elaborate staging and set design. Sodek meticulously stages his photographs using carefully arranged sets props, and backdrops to construct the scenes he envisions. This attention to detail adds depth and complexity to his compositions. 4. Hand coloring technique. One of Sodek's signature techniques is hand coloring his black and white prints. He uses various pigments to add vivid and expressive colors to the images, enhancing their surreal and painterly qualities. Here... I don't know. If I, if I push my my mind to it, I might say, oh, there's some texture like Sodek, but that's because I'm forcing the prompt hand uh, colored, colorized uh, photos uh, to Dali. Otherwise, not, I don't know. Uh, I think it's really, I would give it a grade of one uh, out of the whole scale for participation, but I think it's a pretty bad result for Dali this week. And on the right... This big mask, scary mask, and the pauses, the way it's composed, a little bit too too charged and too too clean. But there could be some the way it's made. It could be some something re that looks like the photographer's work. Five darkroom manipulation. Sodek is known for his mastery of darkroom techniques, using processes such as solarization, multiple exposures, and various printing methods to achieve his desired visual effects. 6. Timeless and universal themes. While Sodek's work is often deeply rooted in his personal experiences and the context of his time, he manages to capture universal themes and emotions that resonate with viewers from different backgrounds and cultures. Besides um, an interesting image, I don't think it looks at all like Sodex's work for the Dali results. And here again, that's exactly what's coming out. Something that's interesting, but I don't. I really don't know what it's... It would be interesting to have some kind of factor coming out when the picture comes out with Dali or Midjourney telling you how, how well it believes it's understood the, the, the request. 
Uh, on the right, uh, it could be the background the kind of fuzziness, uh, well, smokiness uh, of the environment, and it's kind of dusty. And the way the overall looks, uh, I think Midjourney is doing something pretty good. Uh, not yet there; it's kind of naive, a naive way of seeing Saudek, but it's it's interesting. Seven pushing boundaries. Saudek's approach to controversial themes and his willingness to challenge societal norms and conventions have often led to debates and discussions about his work. He fearlessly explores the complexities of human relationships, often blurring the lines between innocence and sensuality. Eight intimate portraits. Sonic's portraits, particularly of women, reveal a profound intimacy and vulnerability. He captures his subjects in unguarded moments, resulting in emotionally charged and thought-provoking images. Now we're getting used to Dali giving us crap, so <laughs> interesting pictures, that's uh, for sure. I always liked the way Dali worked on the subject's pauses, so the way they stand and everything. So yeah, that's fun. Um, I didn't prompt anything about the background, so maybe there's something coming out. It could be a background like we would find in Sadek's work, but otherwise nothing like it. And on the right, uh, apart from this kind of weird beast monster, there's a kind of a look to it that could mean, could make me think of Sadek. Uh, again, too clean. And then also uh, Midjourney has a style that's not that far off from from Sadek um, in in those kind of pictures. Overall, Jan Sadek's photography is a unique blend of artistic vision, technical prowess, and emotional depth. His ability to create surreal and emotionally evocative images, combined with his willingness to push the boundaries of traditional photography, has secured him a significant place in the history of fine art photography. Here, we're, we're really used now to Dali not giving us what we want for Sodek, so let's just enjoy the picture for what it is. Um, and on the right, mid journey, interesting picture. I think the backgrounds kind of look like Sodek. And again, I'm not prompting uh, mid journey to do the backgrounds like this. I'm not describing any, any idea of the backgrounds. And the lighting, the composition, this is something I, I would find interesting and could remind me in some ways of the photographer. Also, I, this picture, I've selected this picture because I think it's most of the time those artificial intelligence tools, whenever there's something kind of sexually connoted, here there's the, the man on the scene is kind of groping the woman, maybe voluntarily, I don't know. But it, I kind of find that to mention. Uh, yeah, don't know what you think. It's it's rare, but here here it is. Um, and so now we have, um, as we have an AI uh, virtual Jan Sadek at our disposal, maybe we could ask for, we could request a custom creation. And I would really like a photo of a clown and his show dog standing in front of the camera, um, controversial looking, and the photograph in the style of photographer Jan Sadek. So here I will regroup the four images from Dali together and then we'll look at the mid-journey pictures. And nothing surprising, the first two pictures from Dali are completely off. Uh, and again, don't forget the prompts here. I'm forcing the hand-colored parameter on it because otherwise I always get black and white um, for those requests. So it's the first time that Dali is so bad at it. And nonetheless, we have some funny pictures, not very meaningful. The next two, same thing. I wonder where Dali's and what is looking for um, in terms of databases and, and why is this Jan Sadek style? Uh, very surprised. Um, Midjourney, that's way better. And I think that's also those two examples. Um, the, the lighting, the background, those drapes on the wall, um, could make us think of uh, Jan Sadek, the, the way the subjects look at the camera, the clothing, the styling, the hair. 
And also with Smith Journey, now there's a the user interface uh, greatly helps. You're able to focus back. So the original image on the left, that's a basic framing I had also for the image on the right. And then you just ask for for enlargement uh, of the composition and have a, a larger field of view. And that's what you get. And I think it's doing pretty well. Here again, those two last pictures. Uh, I think there is an inspiration uh, from Jan Sodek. Uh, the haircuts, the the lighting, the colors, the backgrounds, um, really doing a good work here, uh, I must admit. A little bit too clean, kind of, again, too mid journey but I really think mid journey is on something uh, regarding this photographer. But nonetheless, um, that's it for this week. So hopefully that was entertaining. Uh, if you have comments, questions, or proposals, just uh, post them below. And yeah, and let's see what comes up next week. Mm-hmm.